What's going on, people? It's your boy, Gabani here. Welcome back to World Figure Review. And for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Samo I mean, Survival Series Samoa Joe. Now, this one is from when he was uh, in Team SmackDown Live versus Raw. Um, looking into the figure itself, I man, this face scope is so beautiful, man. <laughs> but he does this figure does come with a lot of accessories, like such as the shirt, the head towel, and opposable uh, hands. And it also comes with a, uh, you know, that type of hands. Uh, looking into the box is just a regular Mattel elite box but this one has survival series and from the top is true effects and uh, elite collection you got from the side you see some old joe with his uh some some i mean smackdown live attire in the back it has some information about joe and you see the other figures from the set uh i saw mcintyre morrison and kane but i had to pick up joe because joe is top five all-time favorite wrestlers no matter what I don't know, something about Joe, man. He's just always been my favorite since I've watched him in uh, TNA. Back when he was in TNA. Even when he had that weird, uh, like, Samoan killer machine. Uh, the, when he had that Z face tattoo. That Z tattoo on his face. And here he is, out of the packaging, people. So, before we even get into the figure, well, let's look into the accessories he does come with. Uh, Samoa Joe does come with two uh, actual gripping hands. Uh, so if you want to replace these uh, hang tight dude hands to fit with like to fit with the pose, you know, uh, he does. He just these uh, it is just these standard ones too. Uh, let's put that down. And he also comes with this cloth, this cloth SmackDown Live shirt. Uh, we're gonna put him on and after everything, but it's just a. It's nice to get cloth shirts with um these wrestling figures because they usually give us these bulky rubble stuff like this his uh i don't know this is his head towel he wears when he, when he makes his entrance i wouldn't mind if this was a uh, more cloth than this hold but i guess this would do and then here is samoa joe people looking at the face scope you could actually this is just like yeah you could tell this is joe uh, he does have, that's when he had that side-to-side uh, -side haircut. I think now he's bald. Uh, he has that chin hair. Looking down, he has the Samoa Joe body. I think they, they reused this uh, scope for, like, uh, Kenneth Lee. And I think uh, Kevin Owens as well. Going down, he has his signature trunks, his MMA trunks. And then he also has his signature boots. Um, he does wear, like, more of a generic uh, attire, but it's pretty unique to himself. Uh, he does have a wristband. Well, not even wristband. Uh, he has a elbow. Wait, actually, right here it is kind of. I guess they forgot to paint it. It's not that bad, but you know it's kind of noticeable. And the back. Oh yeah, look at that. See that? Can I can I scratch that off? Kinda, kinda ish. And even from right here, he had this some white on his uh back of his back of his arm. Yeah. Alrighty, let's look into the articulation and then uh, I'll give my review. I'll give like my rating. So, like every other Mattel 6 inch figure, his head does move up that far up. That's a little pretty decent. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, he doesn't, his head cannot go down that far because of that chin. He's like the crimson chin. He can move side to side pretty roughly. He does have some ab crunch. His arms do go out, rotate. His arms can go out that far in. He does have single joint elbows, and he has wrist rotation. Um, he could he could do that much of a split. He could kick out that far, not that really that far, and non-existent to kicking that back. Um, he does have, oh yeah, he does have waist swivel. I forgot about that waist swivel, guys. He does have a upper thigh swivel. He does have double jointed knees. Uh, you could kind of tell it kind of like the 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 scope of the shorts kind of like hens it but you know it's still there um he also has some foot rotation 
and a barely ankle pivot. I'm going to see what he looks like with the SmackDown Live cloth shirt on. So let's put that on him. And there we have it, guys. Um, This is pretty much my one of my favorite figures that I picked up. Um, Samoa Joe always have been my favorite wrestler since I've seen him in TNA. I even liked his TNA theme more than his uh, WWE theme. Uh, <clears throat> things I would change about the figure really is um able to kick back more like the scope. Maybe like I don't know, probably drill that, like uh, drill that out, because you know Samoa is a big guy, but he's also a quick guy. He's supposed to have the the cruiserweight type <clears throat> athleticism and all that. But this is really a cool figure. When he first debuted in a WWE, I was excited to get one of his figures. Uh, I got his uh, his base figure. Yeah, he's basic figure. Uh, it's in the room. I might do a head swap because I kind of dig that head scope a little bit more. But let's just see. Um, and I always wanted to have a elite. I don't know what took me so long to even, uh, pick this one up. Cause, uh, I saw it at a Target that was just opening up and there was a bunch. I had, had the whole set, but I only picked up him because I want to pick up some Pokemon cards. Uh, I know this video is pretty short guys, so I'm gonna hook you guys up. I'm gonna give you two, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you two green code cards from my pile. You guys could have that. And it's time for... G's pin collection. This is why I pull a pin from this Pokeball that has a bunch of my pins. Uh, and then I just show you and tell you a story about it. And yeah, look at all that. Who can I get? I'm closing my eyes. Who is it? Tapu Lele. Uh, this is from one of my old videos. It's not much of a story, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all I could tell you. I got it from Target. It was a three. It was a two pack. It came with top. It came on like the three tapus. I'll put it on top, uh, right next to Eternatus and Mob. Look at that, beautiful. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my video to guys today, guys. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel to support it. Uh, I do want to hit a milestone before the year ends. That would be that would be cool to hit uh, at least 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I know the year, I know 2020 has been crazy, but, um, you know, we're just sticking to it together. And, uh, yeah, peace.